So you want to start a podcast, but you have zero gear. That's okay. As long as you have a mobile device like an iPhone, you can record a podcast right now and it can still sound studio quality. The audio you're hearing right now is directly from this iPhone mic using Riverside's magic audio feature to enhance that sound. And you can use Riverside's tools to edit your video and audio podcast, then use Spotify for podcasters to publish it, and you can launch your entire podcast completely for free with the gear you have right now. Step one, download the free Riverside app on your iPhone or Android device. We'll put a link down in the video description. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and open it. From the app, you can log in with your Riverside account if you already have one, or if not, you can sign up right here in the app. Or if you have a Spotify for Podcasters account, you can actually log in with your Spotify credentials. Once you've created your account, you'll see several studios. This can be a podcast, maybe this is webinars, or just solo talking head content. But let's create a new studio for the podcast we're about to record. I'll hit the plus button at the bottom and then choose new studio. I'll call this my amazing podcast and then let's hit create. Now I can jump into that studio and we're gonna get ready to record. Now you can also record video for your podcast right here from your mobile device. I'm gonna rotate my device landscape. This way I get that full 16 by nine video and let's join the studio. Now you can even invite remote guests or a co-host to join you. They can do it from their mobile device or computer using the Chrome or Edge web browser. I can tap the invite button, send them a guest link and they can jump into the studio to record with me. I can copy the link to my clipboard and then text it to someone or hit the three dots to bring up the share sheet and send it quickly that way. Then when I'm ready to record my content, I'll just hit the record button in the top left corner. Now up to this point, we've just used the phone you already have in your pocket, but if you wanna get one piece of gear, might I suggest an inexpensive tripod with a mount, this way you don't have to hold your phone the entire time you're recording. We'll put a link to some options down in the video description, but you can get these for about $15, sometimes even less. As you can see, I'm recording here, and the power of Riverside is this video and audio is actually being recorded locally to my iPhone device, so it's high quality, no internet blips, stutters, or freezes are going to affect the quality of my recording. And any remote guests you invite, theirs is also being recorded locally and being uploaded to your Riverside studio. And here's what the video looks like and audio sounds like recording directly with my iPhone using Riverside. But once you're done recording your podcast, video or audio only, then you can jump over to the web browser on your computer and edit that content all in Riverside. I've now logged into my Riverside account in a web browser. You can see this is my other podcast where I have all my past episodes recorded but you'll also see my amazing podcast studio I created from my mobile device. Now I can jump into that recording I just made to edit it. Here on the recordings page, you can use our AI show notes feature to generate a summary, keywords, takeaways, even possible titles, sound bites, and chapter timestamps from your recording. Magic Clips will create multiple vertical video clips from your long form content about a minute long, add those animated captions, and then at the bottom, you can download the high quality video and raw audio files if you'd like to edit elsewhere. But the real power comes in when you jump into the Riverside editor. I'll click the edit button in the top right corner, and here's our mobile device recording we can now edit here in Riverside. As you can see, you get a transcript with every recording, and you can edit via transcript either by selecting text and then deleting it, and that's actually deleting the audio and video content, or you can use the timeline below, drag the in and out points, even place the playhead where you would like, split the clip, and delete sections like that. If you want to add an intro or outro to your podcast or other content, just click the plus button at the beginning or end of the timeline, and you can choose from your other Riverside recordings, edits you've made, or upload your own video and audio clip from the computer. Now we were using the built-in microphone from the iPhone, and so I'm gonna go up here to the Magic Tools section, and I can apply Magic Audio to make this sound studio quality. There's also a set pace feature, which is really helpful for longer podcasts or videos, and you can remove the perfect amount of silence. We'll tell you how many pauses we'll remove and how much seconds that will save you. This way you can have the perfect pace for your conversation. If you want to create vertical content from this recording, choose our aspect ratio tool, and now I can make vertical video or square video from the same recording. I can also add those animated captions here, and it will highlight the active word. I can change that style maybe to a box and even adjust the colors. And we have other amazing tools like text overlays, perfect for lower thirds or URLs. You can adjust the font color and style that way. And we even have image overlays where you can search for stock imagery, add that on top of the video if you would like, or upload your own images, including full screen slides and create really visually engaging content all here in the Riverside editor. When ready, I can export this content in up to 4K video quality. Normalizing audio levels is great for multiple guests. This way everything's the same volume and I'll export that video. After a few moments, you can download that edited video and then upload it to Spotify for podcasters for your video and audio podcast and upload that video to your YouTube channel as a video podcast as well. If you'd like to learn more about using Spotify for podcasters, which is totally for free for hosting your podcast content, I'll put a video right here. I walk you through the entire process 
And if you'd like to learn more about adding video, maybe you do want to upgrade your setup by a USB microphone or upgrade your video equipment, check out this video right here where I walk through multiple options for every budget level. Don't forget to subscribe to the Riverside channel before you go. Lots of content on your setup using Riverside, and I'll put a playlist down in the description to walk you through the entire Riverside platform. If you have any questions, leave comments below this video. I answer those personally. Thanks for watching. We can't wait to see what you create.